So I got this question. Uh, by the way, sponsored by Guerrilla Trades. I got this question. Dear David, can you explain the UVXY and Contango and how that works? Well, I certainly can. Coming up next on the Short Vol Show. Check it out. And welcome back. Here we are on the Short Vol Show. And I had a question about what's that Contango stuff and UVXY and all that fun stuff. Um, and, um, well, let's start out with Contango. Contango is a relationship between uh, some futures. So, and I originally found out about Contango through looking at oil futures. And essentially, when the uh, prices of a bunch of futures, futures have different dates that they expire on. So you may have like October, November, December, January. And when you have, uh, if the prices are going up as the dates go out, so for example, if October is 200, November is 300, December is 400, and January is 500, if the if the prices slope upward like that, that would be considered uh, to be in a relationship of contango in the futures. And normally, VIX futures are in a state of contango. They're in contango about 85% of the time. Now, why does this matter to us? Well, this matters because funds that uh, are VIX-related, they have to rebalance to keep uh, a constant maturity of 30 days out. So basically, you've got a future that starts out, and it's slowly, every day that goes by, it has one less day till expiration. So if you've got a future that's got exactly 30 days till expiration, that's perfect. That's perfect for the fund. That's what the fund wants. The only problem is tomorrow, it's only got 20 days, 29 days to expiration. So it's perfect for one day, but then the next day, it's only got 29 days till expiration. So what do we have to do? Well, we've got to buy a little couple futures from the next month out and to add to our futures from the 29 days out and that the average between the two will get us to 30 days. The next day, 28 days left in this future, the next month out one's got one day less, but we have to buy more futures to keep that average of 30 days out. And as we have to keep doing this, buying more futures to keep our maturity constant, that's called rolling out the futures or rebalancing the fund. And every time we rebalance to a higher priced month, we have to sell the cheaper priced future and buy the higher price future. And what that does is it creates drag or decay. And so that's why we care about contango, because the fact that the futures curve is sloping up means that we have decay over time as a VIX uh, fund is rebalanced. So that's why we care about contango. The more contango, the more decay over time. And the way it works in practice is not that like you're losing money every time you rebalance, but actually um, you lose money or the, the fund decays in value as futures fall always towards the spot price. So in a typical situation, futures are trading above the spot price and they're slowly falling towards spot over time. And as we rebalance, we're moving the uh, average spot that we're falling from a little bit higher. So we're moving just a little bit up higher up the mountain and then we start to fall down towards the spot and then we move a little bit higher up the mountain and then we start to fall down more. And so it's the falling of the futures towards spot which creates the decay and as we rebalance, we're moving up a little bit higher and giving ourselves a little bit more room to fall down. And over time, we're just slowly always just sort of falling lower and falling lower and falling lower and that's what creates the constant decay and w that's what makes the charts of VIX ETPs start to look like, well, let's take a look at a chart of one of them. So let's look at TVIX for a second. What's that chart look like? Well, I pressed options. Yes, I know there's no options on TVIX. All right, so if we look at a chart for TVIX for three years out, what does it look like? It looks like we're falling off a cliff because uh, that's not TVIX, TVIX. What's the chart look like? Well, I'm right in the way, so you can't see. So let me move out of the way. The chart looks like we are going straight downhill. 
blah, 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 blah. This is going to be edited out, so it doesn't matter what I'm saying here. Blah, 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 as I fix the screen. All right, so the chart, you know, we're going straight downhill. Uh, well, let's look. Well, maybe maybe another VIX ETP doesn't have that decay. Well, let's look at VXX. How's the VXX look? Uh-oh, that one's going straight down, too. How about UVXY? Is that one going straight down, too? Yep, they're all going straight down. And most of this decay is due to contango. Uh, and to illustrate graphically the state of the futures in relationship to one another, we can pull up VIX Central, and here we have it. And if you look, you can see like what my hand was doing when I was making that illustration using a visual cue, which I will perform once again for you magically here, is that, well, it's backwards on the camera. So let me do my hand backwards. See how it's going up that hill? That chart is like my hand going up the hill like that. Okay, and that is the state of contango, it's called. Okay, the opposite of contango is backwardation, which is like that downhill. As you go out in time, futures prices are cheaper and cheaper. And we're only in backwardation less than 80% of the time in VIX ETPs. And we find that um, that was basically in February this year. We were in backwardation. But right now we are in contango, which is that upward slope like that, which is the opposite for me sitting in front of a camera. So I have to kind of reverse it. So like that. So go back in your mind to the beginning of this video and reverse my hand to back up like that. Okay. So, and the percent that we're in contango, which is listed in the bottom of the screen, right? Oops. Once again, backwards oh, down there, down there on the, on the end, on the corner. Let me get my hand closer to it. All right. How about like right there? That number is the number uh, percent contango that we're in right now, and that says 6.79%. So this thing is decaying 6.79% per month. So let's, if we do some quick math, and we have the price of UVXY around 37, 37 times 0 0.0679 equals 2.51. So this means that the effects of contango are decaying UVXY currently by about $2.50 a month. So all else remaining the same, UVXY will be down $2.51 at this time next month. And that's why we lean short. And that's how we make money being short vol. And that's why we care so much about contango. And you see me typing in every day, tango update, blah, 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 this and that is because this force, although very small per day, over the course of a month is two and a half bucks lower. Boom. That's what you're fighting if you're trying to get long volatility and hang out and hope for that big crash day. Well, every month this thing is going to go down 250 until your big crash day comes and maybe you make it all back and you're a hero or maybe not. But we'll have to just wait and see. Anyway, so that's a little lesson on Katanga. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ooh, I'm way low down. Let me get back higher up there. See you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.